What's up guys, Crowen here bringing you a 5.3 stat priorities guide. This is going to give you everything you need to know and understand about the stat priorities for 5.3. So they did a bit of a big set of changes in 5.3 to the resilience and PvP power sections of the game. What it's meant is that everyone's doing 10% less damage because of the PvP power and uh, you know everyone's resilience gems are kind of become worthless. So it's weird but we gained a rising sun kick buff of 10% damage, so our damage hasn't really dropped that 10% like everyone else's on the PvP path because of the scaling and stuff they basically. So what we are going to do instead is stack agility. We're not going to bother gemming resilience anymore, so every red socket is going to be full red agility. In your yellows you're going to put agility crit, and in your blues you're going to put agility PvP power. And you're going to focus damage because we actually took that damage nerf and with the other stuff happening with battle fatigue and everything and you know we actually get a bit more healing and the healers do less healing. We're actually going to be a lot more survivable as a class and it's really weird. Um, we're still probably going to get blown up by mages because mages are so overpowered and blizzard don't know or do anything about it. It's mad. Oh, oh. But, back on topic, extra damage is going to be great for us. We're going to do more damage than we did in 5.2 by a lot, because we're going to gain the extra from Rising Sun Kick. We're also going to get extra from the agility we're going to be able to put on our gear. It's going to work out lovely. We're going to be one of the highest sustained damaging classes come 5.3, uh, along with DKs, which are going to be obviously massive amounts of damage. So there you go. The, here's a good partner for you if you haven't got one already. So, priority wise, you're going to go hit cap, expertise cap as always, and then you're going to stack agility, and then you're going to go crit, then haste. But, if you're under 3k haste, because when you first start gearing, you don't have much haste, focus haste, it really, really helps so much. Like, you need the energy to be able to keep doing your moves and stuff, so just, like, make sure you hit that, like, you want to get higher numbers than that, obviously, but, you know, you want to aim for that now, here's some other things. What about Mastery? Why aren't you talked about Mastery? Well, Mastery, if you are playing in a comp where you are with a Destro Lock or a Mage where your plan is to blow somebody up, you obviously want to do a big amount of damage on your ma based off your Mastery. So what you're going to do is you're going to put Mastery in front of your Crit and your Haste. So if you're playing with a Destro Lock or you're playing with anyone else that has big one-shot damage that you feel is like what you're going to focus on as that comp, then you switch that. Just focus mastery more. Obviously still makes you take a lot of haste and crit. You don't want to like screw yourself over completely. And you also probably want to even get rune of reorigination. So you can actually just actually, you know, double your mastery and swifty one shot someone. But that's my like recommendation. I, I wouldn't say that's like a really fun comp to play. Like it doesn't feel like, you know, you just like pop some buttons and hope for a one shot. And if it doesn't happen, you don't get a crit at that moment. You kind of feel like you wasted everything and that isn't really great fun. Hopefully this helped a lot so you can understand what I'm doing. Obviously you're going to do similar to what you did before. You're going to focus expertise and stuff like that for, you know, enchants and stuff. You're going to focus crit for enchants. You're going to focus agility. I don't feel like there's much that you would be missing out on. If you want to, there's going to be a link to my armory which should show like the things. I have been playing with it recently so it might not be completely up to date. Obviously I've told you the gems and stuff. I was actually playing with haste and stuff so you've got that to look into. It's like you can play with it yourself if you really want to. I've actually done it for you guys so you don't have to. Um, but yeah, it's there if you want to actually look at it and uh, check out the damage changes and stuff as well yourself. Um, to find if haste, if you feel like haste is better, then go haste. I, it's all just recommendations, really. I would say that agility probably, if you're not doing it, like everyone is focusing their primary stats, like every class right now. So it's kind of a good thing to uh, focus, you know, because even if you're unsure, it's like we did just gain that damage buff and everyone else took a damage nerf. So why would you not consider doing it? And um, yeah, I hope you had a great day and I will see you guys again soon. Goodbye.